Uh, okay, so uh, <clears throat> we got the music box. Uh, a small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. Plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly, Viola and Gascoigne. So I can put this on. I just wonder, is this the same, uh... Yes, it is. Okay, let's open this door. Uh, that's gonna open another shortcut. Well, I'm still, I'm gonna carry on down here and clear out the rest of this pathway. Uh, and then when I get to the first boss, uh, we're gonna go back and kill an optional boss. Just hope I don't fall down here. Just be careful going back down there. I have done that a few times. Uh, once coming back, just fell off that ledge and died. Uh, so now we're heading to the rest of the sewer area. Got an item here, but also if we uh, press the R3 button to lock on, we've got enemies here as well. No legs. They're just bodies and arms. So they're taking uh, quite a few hits to take out, take down actually. Uh, you probably can just like throw mollies at these or something. But as long as you don't get caught, they don't do too much damage anyway. Just try not to walk in front of them. I can't remember what this is. Quick silver bullets. And small blood vials. I should want to heal, just in case. And then let's head down here. Uh, so yeah, same as in uh, Dark Souls as well. If you do, um, if you move forward and press the R2 button at the same time, so where with the R1? Doesn't. You do the uh, jump and attack, which is nice when you want to close a bit of distance. Um, and we've got some crows up there. Is there anything down here? Some more uh, bodies over there and some more crows. Got one here as well. Another bloodstone shard, nice. And a blood file. <coughs> but yeah, the bloodstone shards are gonna come in very handy, so it's nice to, to collect these up and to gather them right now. Heal up before we go any further. Get that blood file. Where are the crows? Crows are there. <clears throat> okay. Um, so there's now another branch branching pathway. Uh, so there's a ladder here, which is going to take us upstairs um, to the way that we should be going. Uh, but there's also... Actually, does that take us up there? <laughs> ah, yes. This takes us where we should be going. Uh, 
so we can also unlock the uh, the shortcut to take us back up. Um, uh, but yeah, like the normal way is just to go up here. Uh, if you get us, go up there a little bit, the uh, there'll be a big boulder that comes down. Uh, but there's also another way to do it. And that's through here. We do have a, a giant hog at the end. But if we, uh, avoid this guy's attacks, do a charge attack on his ass, and then do a visceral, it's kind of pretty easy to take down. Uh, but yeah, for, for that guy, just kind of just stay around to his back. You can just do some nice uh, side steps to get around there quickly. We've got some blood vials. The Saw Hunter badge. This can allow us to buy some items in the Hunter's Dream. And some Cobbler Dew. Cobbler Dew, you kind of, you break them for, for Blood Echoes. Alright, just uh, be careful of this bit, because if, uh, if you go too far, there's just a drop. That's death. You don't want to go there. Uh, take the side alleyway. And up these stairs. Now, if we go up here... This kind of like takes us behind the big flame boulder. Um, so as soon as we get to the top, these guys are going to panic. And set that off. The only thing is, I don't know if I actually hit anyone. I think I might have done, actually. Um, we can uh, head around here. Sneak. Take out one of those guys, then we have to deal with that guy. Oh, yeah, always heal up with that guy. His uh, swing is really big. Uh, let's see what's down here. Some more blood vials. Nice. And a uh, blood hunter's mark. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so up there, <laughs> it's going to be the first official boss. But we are going to use these uh, these bold hunters marks. So uh, dangling upside down, ruin etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon the parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. Allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes. A trick that seems nearly too good to be true. So I'm going to put this on there. This is like the... Uh, Homeward Bones in Dark Souls. Um, and the first thing we want to going to be doing before we uh... oh, hold on a minute. Uh, so we can buy some items. We've got the badge, so now we can buy all the uh, all the starting items here. So if you pick a, an item, starting item that you don't want, you can uh, come back here. I think it's once you've picked up the Saw Hunter badge. Um, I could be wrong. I might need to check my notes on that. Uh, you can purchase any of the other star items. We've also got the uh, uh, Saw Spear, which we've already collected. Uh, same with the pistols as well. And uh, some gear as well, so this will be available. So normally you'd come back and uh, get this stuff as armor, but we got the other set. Um, but yeah, we can't level up anyway. Why is that? Do we need to fight the first boss? This was once a 
once a workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. You're welcome to you even. And we're gonna even the doll if it pleases you. You're welcome to use whatever you want. Even the doll if it pleases you. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna fortify our weapon. So we've got some blood stones. We've got nine. So and we're doing the sword cleaver. Um, so three for one upgrade and then five for the next. So we've got it to plus two. Which isn't too bad. Uh, but we can't use any uh we can't level up yet. Can't upgrade yet until we've uh, defeated the first boss. Um but before we do that, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go take out the optional boss. This guy's still here. Across the valley to the east of Yarno, deep within lies the old <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna take these guys out down here just so we've got a few more extra uh, blood vials. <laughs> if anything would happen, we're we gonna get let's get this guy first. I'm probably going to need to use one. Oh man. I'm so stupid. that noise oh, let's head back in here take this guy out oh sh crap that was an extra hit um I guess we can take these guys out as well just get a bit more uh, a few more blood echoes some nice easy kills uh, just be careful as well if you collect some items, just uh, sometimes they won't show up straight away. So it might be worth having a quick look behind just in case. Um, so we've got this guy. I can't remember what's best to do this without taking damage. Just do that. Oh, it's still alive. Oh. Just trying to shoot him. Um, okay, and now we're gonna go to the end of the bridge where they are blocked. Uh, I hope we can do this <laughs> without dying too much. This beast. Oh, yeah, this one's not like because we've got armor. We've upgraded our weapon. This one shouldn't be too bad. It's kind of... You can kind of stick around to this guy's back for most of the fight. Just kind of try and watch his stamina though. So he can get out. Yeah, if, if you get into trouble, try and back off and heal. 
get two heals. Can we get a big attack? Uh, but yeah, a lot of this fight is just uh, kind of movement. Don't be scared by his uh, big hairiness. Just try and get to his back. And avoid that grab attack. How about Molly's? One damage. Yeah, I think his. Uh, I can't even see anything right now. <laughs> Let's get a second one just to be safe. I think I'm trapped. Um, yeah, so going under his. Could, get a, could have got a visceral then, I think. He's down. What side is that? Under his right, so just go to, go to the left. To kind of circle around him. When you're at the back, he'll do like a back, uh, kind of like a backhand at you. Try and reach you with that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. If you go back around to his front, or if you take a bit of damage, just back away a bit, heal up. And then go back again. It's got the Sword Hunter badge. And we've also got a... Uh, we've got some insight for that. We're up to four insight. We've got some quick silver bullets. And... The... Area that's blocked off. From the Cathedral Ward. Um, okay, so what does this give us? So we've already picked up two badges. Uh, Sword Hunter badge. Uh, badge crafted long ago in the work at the workshop. Uh, attests to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. The workshop is gone and no group recognises this meaningless badge except the messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Profoundity? Uh, certain things can only be entrusted with a hunter in possession of this badge, or so they believe. Um, sword Hunter Badge. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The Silver Sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. Okay, so we've got a second badge. What does this unlock? What do we get for this? <clears throat> okay, and the doll is here. Interesting. Uh, because, so because we've got the badge, we've got more items available to us. Um, so we can get bold hunters marks, we can get a hand lantern. The handline might have been there already. We get the Hunter Chief emblem. Key to the gate of the Grand Cathedral's round plaza. Um, so a lot of this game is optional. To avoid some of the optional stuff, you can just buy this. And it will uh, allow you access uh, up to the like the second main boss. We've also got some new weapons with that badge. we got the uh, Kirk Hammer. And the uh, Repeater Pistol. Uh, so if anyone's trying to do a strength build, Kirk Hammer is a nice, uh, a nice weapon for that. It can just see scale, see scaling with strength, um, and it's got a higher base attack as well. And this is a trick weapon, so it's a sword and a hammer in one. Um, okay, so we can actually upgrade here. So I'm assuming, assuming she is activated by insight. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. 
and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Oh, okay, now we can level up. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. No oh, shit, shit, eyes. Okay, so we've got quite a lot, so we can go. I'm gonna take strength up to 20. Uh, that seems alright. 14 bit. 12 endurance, 20 strength. Nice. Farewell, good hunter. May. <sighs> May what? Uh, and we've got an item here as well. Accept gift from messengers. Uh, consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Silence in blank and such forms of cooperation. So we've got the beckoning bell to. Uh, for co-op play, and the silence and bell be to send co-op players away. Uh, and then we've got the one up here. Consume insight and ring the old hunter bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters. Old hunter bell. Um. Uh, great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across the world, so the first hunter used... Yeah, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. A human must use insight to ring this uncanny bell, but the benefits of cross-world cooperation are many. Uh, what was the other one then? If that was, um... Old Hunter Bell. One of the resonating bells that cross the gaps of worlds this bell is cracked and stained with the blood of beasts a human must expend insight to ring this uncanny bell the old hunters who have long passed from the dream but cannot forget the feeling of the hunt rely upon messengers to rally their thoughts uh, relay their thoughts ring the bell at their side and they are certain to give a listing a listen for the night of the hunt is long and unchanging okay so one of them is to summon co-op players, which is going to be a uh, beckoning bell. And the other one is just... <clears throat> okay, so the other bell that we picked up is so that we can see the deaths of other hunters. Uh, to see what happened to them. I see, I see. Um, okay. So let's go to the great, actually let's go back to Central Yarnum. This one's a bit easier to, to get to the next boss.